And today brings me up to the small town of Whitehaven. Uh, I was invited by Jay uh, to come up on uh, uh, this Friday here. I was uh, took some PTO, and he's been telling me about this uh, trail for some time now. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, I know he's done it before, and uh, with the weather here lately, it's been just incredibly oppressively hot. I mean, just constant 94, 95 degrees out. But today we do have a little bit of rain, so hopefully it just stays a mild sprinkle. And uh, but temperatures only about mid 70s, high 70s, and uh, not a lot of humidity. So real comfortable today to take the bike out. Now we are on what's called the DNL Trail. This one is actually quite long. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but I know this does go down uh, pretty far. I believe this is the same trail that goes. That's part of. Uh, the trail that goes right by Jim Thorpe. And uh, I know Jay had mentioned uh, a little while ago when we met at the parking lot there that not too far from where we were is where the bike train drops you off from Jim Thorpe and then you ride back into town that way. So we did start to feel uh, a little bit more sprinkles coming down. We stopped under this really uh, uh, pretty well covered part of the trail here. And uh, while Jay gets his camera out, I got some accessories for the uh, for the e-bike here. I wanted to get something for the back here to store like water, you know, toolkits, stuff like that, my uh, bike lock. And uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but <laughs> I found it on Amazon. I'll throw a link up on the screen here. It's pretty nice. It's got a decent amount of storage. Uh, it's got these little bungees on top here. There's a little side pocket right there. And then, it's big enough. I got a sub in there, another bottle of water, uh, my bike lock, the uh, the little pack there for the uh, DJI. Plus, I have an ice pack in there uh, to keep my food cold. So, not a decent amount of storage. And then I have my neck mount here, which I'll probably uh, I may or may not use because I'm finding that uh, the Action Four here, you know, syncing to this wirelessly, I can actually with the bike actually hold it one handed and just, you know, keep and just ride down the trail and just hold the uh, camera without having a neck mount. And I've got another uh, accessory right here. Got a cell phone mount, which comes in handy because I do like to uh, turn on Google Maps on my phone and see just how far uh, down the trail, um, you know, any given destination, whatnot. But that's about it. I do want to get a uh, something right here that I could put a water bottle uh, right on the uh, frame there. But all in all, still really like it. Yeah, one thing I did forget to mention that when I originally got in this bike, I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, is that the seat that does come with it is not bad, but after a while, especially a guy my size, it does get pretty uncomfortable after a while. Uh, Randy had suggested this one along with Jay. It's, uh, this is from Cloud9, and I think this is just the C9 is what it's, yeah, or I forget what the actual name of it. I'll put a link on the screen too, but this is much more comfortable, it's wider, and it's, uh, a lot uh, better padded. Well, Jay and I made a little break for it to get across the road and uh, up the uh, train tracks a little bit to another uh, nice, really covered spot. But yeah, we're not sure about the, uh, about the rain today. <laughs> but oh well, it's still fun to get out. And uh, even if we can ride a little bit, it'll be all right. And it's not our first time riding in the rain. No, it's not. No, uh, what was it two years ago? Uh, I took Jay up to the uh, Christmas Story house in Cleveland uh, when we were out in Pittsburgh. We made the two hour trip up there and um, Cleveland, let's just say, does not have uh, the greatest weather because it's right on the uh, right on one of the Great Lakes there, and it's just uh, the chance for rain is really high. And uh, took them out on a really nice uh, rail trail. It was all paved, really scenic, but we ended up getting caught in the rain. So, well, this is definitely one of the narrowest trails I've ever been on uh, on the e-bike. Oh, looks like we might have another road or a bridge or something up here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whew. That was tight. <laughs> well, I did just take a peek at the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, the Weather Channel app there. And I looked at the radar and unfortunately it doesn't look like this is going to be really letting up till late, late this afternoon, maybe like five o'clock or something. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit. And uh, luckily we've only gone about a half hour, maybe about seven miles so far. Um, not even. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate, but 
like I said earlier, it's fun to just to get out and you know, that stuff like this happens. Well, on our way back, of course, like Jay just said a little bit ago, of course now it lets up a bit, but uh, we stopped at this really cool uh, culvert right here. It goes underneath the uh, lines there. Wouldn't catch me dead crawling through that. <laughs> I really do not like closed spaces like that, even though it's probably been there for God knows how long. Hey, I'll do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then it goes underneath the rail trail, which this right here itself used to be a rail bed back in the day, and comes out here and proceeds down. I'm gonna go walk out here real quick. Yeah. And that goes all the way down to the uh, Lehigh River. You can barely see right down there through the trees. And this is the same river that goes all the way down through Jim Thorpe. And I looked at, uh, there's little mile markers all along this trail. And this goes from Wilkes Bar all the way down to Bristol. And I think it's like 130 miles or something. It's a really long trail. Pretty nice area, nice and wooded. And obviously on a day like today, not a whole lot of people out. Yeah, nice patch of nature's carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Lit up now, but I'm sure it's going to come down heavier. Yeah. If we were back there by the lake, like in the middle of it. And getting ready to have lunch, I think we would we would be, be screwed. Yeah. Well, guys, I think this is as good as time as any to uh, wrap this video up for today. Kind of a disappointment. Jay and I, I think total, we're only able to go about 10 miles, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's nice to see that little culvert back there and at least get out on the e-bike for a little bit. Um, I am pretty wet. And speaking of that, um, I. These e-bikes obviously aren't like waterproof or, you know, you don't want to submerge them, but in the rainfall that we did experience, it wasn't too bad. My only concern would be really prolonged uh, exposure to the rain, especially where the controls are right here. This is where I actually turn the bike on and then obviously I have my display and then down below me right there is where the key is. So, oh, sorry about that.